Hello everyone, welcome to IBC YouTube channel. In today's video, I will demonstrate how to install Hive on the Windows operating system. First, we need to install Hadoop. In this demonstration, I will be using Hadoop 2.7. Now, open the browser and search Apache Hadoop. Click on first link. Then click on download. After that, click on Apache Release Archive. Then navigate Hadoop 2.7.0 and click on it. Then click on Hadoop 2.7.0.tar.gz file. It will start to download. If you haven't installed Hadoop in your system, please follow the Hadoop installation video for the guidance. Once you have Hadoop installed, we need to download Derby for the Metastore. Again, search Apache Derby and click on this link. Then go to the news section. Click on Derby 10.14.1 release. Then click on the HTML link. Make sure to download Derby version that is compatible with Java 8. Finally, Click on Derby 10.14.2.0 bin file to download it. Once it's downloaded, unzip the Derby file and copy it to C drive. Then rename the folder as Derby. Next, we need to download Hive 2.1.0 using this link, which I have provided in the description below. Once it's downloaded, unzip the Hive file and copy it to C drive. Rename the folder as Hive. Now navigate to the Derby folder, open it, then open the lib folder, copy all the files in that folder. After that, open the Hive folder, then the lib folder, and paste the copied file here. Now we need to set up the paths for Hive and Derby. Go to the search bar and type env. Click on edit the system environment variables. Then click on environment variables. Under user variables, create a new variable named Hive underscore home all caps. And set its value to the path where you copied the Hive folder. Similarly, create variables name Hive underscore lib and Hive underscore bin all caps with their respective paths. Again, we need to create a variable name derby underscore home all caps with the value set to the path where you copied the derby folder. Finally, create a variable name hadoop underscore user underscore class path underscore fast all caps with the value set to true.
create the same variable in the system variable as well now go to the system variables click on path then click on edit create new variables name hive underscore bin and derby underscore bin with their respective paths now save the changes now again open the hive folder then conf folder and copy this hive dash site xml file into this folder you can find the link for it in the below description open the command prompt as administrator use the command start dash dfs dot cmd to start hadoop data nodes once it started use the command start dash yarn dot cmd to start the hadoop yarn now we need to start the derby server use the command start s should be capital network n should be capital server it should be capital space dash h space 0 dot 0 dot 0 dot 0 once it starts minimize the command prompt open a new command prompt as administrator and type hive to launch the hive cli You can now create a database using SQL commands. In this demonstration, I will create a test database. Use the show databases command to see all the databases. Over here you see I have some databases called rakib rakib underscore db and the text after that select the database using use command over here i will create a student table with columns id as integer name and grade as string and score as double To insert data into the table, use the insert into table paste values command and provide the values. Over here, I have provided three values. Alternatively, you can use load command to load data into the table as well. Using the insert command will trigger a MapReduce program backend. Once it's done, you can run a select query to verify if the data is loaded correctly or not. That's it for today's video. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more videos.